Hey guys, Kev here, and I am doing an unboxing for you. I have another one here, and uh, I actually had three today, and then another one showed up. <laughs> so, I actually have four, but this is number three. This one right here is from Jake over at Bearded Gear. Huge shout out to Jake. He's a really good buddy, and uh, we made a trade. So, somewhere in the last month or so, a knife started showing up, right? On Instagram, on um, knife swap, everywhere. And this was the Richard Rogers OEM Slut, AKA Slim Utility. And this thing is gorgeous, guys. If you've seen the uh, CRKT Montosa, that knife was based off of the Slut. And I'm gonna call it the Slut because that's what it is. You know, if you take offense, Sorry. Um, but anyway, it started popping up and I would see it on knife swap for like four fifty, five hundred dollars. And this thing is gorgeous, guys. And I've wanted one so bad, but I just couldn't spend four hundred fifty, five hundred dollars just on a whim. And I tried making a couple trades, but it never worked out. Um, and Jake got one recently. He traded his blackout Chavez 229 for it. And that tells you something, because he really liked that knife, or as his daughter called it, Death Skull. And um, so we got the slut, and he liked it, uh, but I really wanted it. So I started offering him, offering him stuff, and at one point I said, dude, I'll trade you my Benchmade Anthem for that thing. Because I knew he wanted an Anthem, he had one before and he sent it back but he never really got to use it and he's always said at some point he'll have one in the collection so i kind of used that as bait and uh i hooked him in i reeled him in and i'm sure he'll tell the story the other way like he got me or whatever i think we both came out even uh he got a really good knife that i never carried because the anthem just is a little bit too big for its form factor that's the best way for me to say it it's thin and small and it's not it's not that it's a huge knife it's just for how thin it is and stuff it's too big like it it just needs to be like a three and a quarter inch knife instead of three and a half if everything was brought down by that ratio i think it would be a fantastic knife and even more people would love it but anyway we traded and i have the slut right here this is basically a grail knife for me. The way I look at grail knives is if there's something I really want and I can't get it, um, then it's a grail knife. And something I'm hunting, you know, like actively hunting down. Like I'm on Reddit all the time looking for it to pop up so I can try to trade or buy it. That's a grail knife to me. A grail knife to me isn't like some custom that, uh, you know, I might be able to afford for $1,500 later, like, with Zerku tie, a Moku tie, and Doku tie, and all this shit. Like, a grail to me is something I'm hunting and I can't get and I'm drooling over. And I've had some lately, guys. Um, I've had the Slut, I've had the Jaeger M from Brian Brown Knives. I have one of those on the way. So excited. Um, I have a Vero Mini Impulse coming. I traded my Satori 2.0 for that. And I'll tell that story when it arrives, but I honestly think the Satori 2.0 is overrated. And I know I gushed about it, but I fell for the same stuff that everybody falls for. Oh, it's $640 retail. It must be amazing. And that knife looks gorgeous, but the detent was terrible. And so anyway, I'll get into that, but let's get into this package. I have the Finch. Model 1929 here, guys. I unboxed this earlier. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Let's see how it cuts. Oh, yeah. This is a good one, guys. All right, let's see what Jake has for me. Ha. Yeah. Some random stickers fell out. Like, I need stickers. I'm just kidding. Check these out, guys. Bearded Gear stickers. Boom, 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 boom. These are the holographic ones. Um, I kind of turned 
him and uh, Kyle from DTOM Knives and Gear onto this uh, company called Sticker Mule. And every week they have some kind of a promotion. And uh, a couple weeks ago it was these holographic stickers. And we got like 50 or 100 of them for like 10 bucks or 20 bucks. And then the week after it was magnets. Like I should have mine. Hang on. Yeah, so I have magnets here. And then I have the holographic sticker. So um, they always have some cool deal. Like we don't spend that much money on this stuff. I, you know, I paid 10, 20 bucks for a pack of 50 or 100. Now I have other stickers like the bigger ones, the lefty EDC ones. I got 250 of those and that was like 100 bucks. So, you know, it depends. But anyway, if you guys want any stickers or swag from me, please hit me up. DM me on Instagram at leftyedc. Uh, email me leftyedc88 at gmail.com. I'd be happy to send them out. And you know what? If you want a bearded gear sticker and I still have one, I'll throw that in. No problem. Um, anyway, we have <laughs> Petite and Pretty. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it ships this way, but I could be wrong. I'm thinking Jake is messing with me. I don't know. Oh, that's just the bag. Look at that. Those, those pieces are in the bag. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm definitely reusing that. I, I don't think it came in this, but that would be funny. Here we go. Roger's design, guys. You may have just seen this on his channel, but, um... Uh, I am stoked. So we have a cool little microfiber cloth here that says, what does it say? Zeng Cheng Long. Seriously? I don't know, guys. This cloth says Zeng Cheng Long on it. Uh, it's really hard to see. That's kind of weird to me. Um, you have a cool little patch. That's awesome. It's like a little Riddler sticker. That must be Roger's uh, logo. Little sticker. I like how everything's small. Man, this thing is small. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, I'm on like a small knife kick. Isn't it funny how our, our tastes just change like that? Oh, there's something else in here. Hang on. Okay, so first we have... These screws, which I think if I remember from Jake's videos, there are screws so that you could take the clip off or something. I forget. Uh, and then you have this little slip. Look at that. I've never had a slip for a knife. And I've never thought about using one. But it fits in there really well. So here's the knife, guys. Look at that turtle dog in it boom <laughs> wow this thing is gorgeous okay put everything back let me put this back regroup guys regroup you know me i don't want to start going off all right here we go so we have this really cool purple anno on this guy on all of the hardware we're dead centered Wow, this thing is tiny, guys. Here's a Chaparral. Just got that. It's the same size as a Spyderco Chaparral. Here's a Model 1929 from Finch. It's about the same size as that. But you have to keep in mind, with a knife like this, you're just going like this, and you're hitting the flipper tab, and that's it. Uh, on a knife like this, you need to get enough grip and everything to get to the spidey hole or the slot. So I think it's going to be a little bit difficult for me, but I'm going to give it a try, guys. Yeah. So there we go. Wow, this thing is tiny. Man, it's really cool, though. Seems to have a decent edge. Might need a stropping or something. I don't know. I doubt Jake used it much, but I don't know. Liner lock. All 
Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not like dying for the action. Let's try a thumb flick. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't really make nice sounds or anything. And I have to give it wrist to flick it because I don't have a clip to hang on to. See, being right-handed really helps in these situations because you can put your fingers on the clip and then you can get your middle finger in there and then you can flick it, right? I still had to give it wrist, but that's because I'm not right-handed. Left-handed, I don't have that. So I kind of have to get in an awkward position and I got to wrist it. I don't think I could do it without the wrist. And it like squeaks. There's no play. Action is okay. Man, this thing is so light though. Such a crazy knife. Honestly, the thumb flick seems to work. Okay, it's hard on camera. I'll give it that. I mean, that's just me and the camera right there. So the blade says Rogers Design and M390. I don't know if you're going to see any of that. And that's it. I don't know if he cleaned it like he said he was going to do because it kind of looks a little grimy still. Yeah, I, I don't think he cleaned it. I know in his video he said he would, but... My guess is maybe he just shot some air in there. So ergonomically, I can maybe just get four fingers on and then I can kind of, you know, get my thumb up here. Man, this thing is small, guys. I just don't like how there's, well, can I throw it out? Yes. You guys know me. I hate weak D10s. It's almost too weak. Like, I I can't do the Spidey flick. Well, there you go. I mean, I just need to get used to it. But I'll be honest, for a knife that I've been really drooling over, I'm not very impressed at all. Um, this happens, guys. I, I'm, I'm very picky. I'm just not easy to please when it comes to knives. And um, this one's just, ugh, I don't know. It's a little small. The action's not that great. I I for damn sure don't see $450, $500 right here. Um, I mean, I'll probably ask for it when I sell it because it's starting to look like I'm going to sell this, guys. Um I'm not seeing a big uh, use case for this guy in my uh, in my collection. It it squeaks like I don't know. I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna clean it, but I might not even do that, guys. I might sell this right after this video. I'm I'm pretty down right now on this guy. I was so excited too. Ah oh, boy. Well, that's what you get, right? You want to unbox it on camera? You're going to get my real reaction. Uh, yeah, kind of a limp noodle for me, guys. Uh, and my kid just woke up. She's crying. I got to get to her. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll catch up with you guys on this one, let you know what happens. And I uh, hope you have a fantastic day. I catch you later. All right, guys. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of a follow-up. So after my video on the or unboxing of the Richard Rogers OEM slut, it's literally been 10 minutes since I filmed that. I sat here looking at it, playing with it, um, you know, because obviously I was a little bit baffled and upset. Not upset, like, you know, not mad or whatever, but like, disappointed that I built this knife up so much in my head and um and I was pretty let down in that video right so I just checked it out a little bit I dropped a little KPL in I played with it um I messed with the pivot a little bit which ended up just making it off center so I tightened it back up but I got a feel for it a little bit and um the milling on this knife is incredible I didn't you know mention that at all just the milling all over this thing is incredible. 
even inside of these slots there. And like, unlike Vero, we have them on both sides. Thank you very much. And I still can't, like, do a Spidey flick without wrist, really. There we go. So I kind of just dialed it up and flicked it out. So maybe I'm learning, guys. I absolutely adore this blade shape. It's just such a cool sheets footy blade. Always going to remind me of the F5.5 here, guys. My favorite knife right now. And it's really hard to beat this thing right now. Uh, but you got a sheep's foot blade there. Um, you know, they're different, obviously. It's a little bit shorter, but it's way thinner. So it just feels like such a smaller knife. Uh, I am surprised at how small this is. So that's interesting. We do not have a detent ball ramp uh, like most knives for some reason. Uh, but I'm really liking this now, guys. Uh, I don't know if I just sat here and convinced myself or what, but you know, you go through the process as I go through the process and I just want to be honest and tell you what I'm feeling. And I felt like turning the camera back on. So that's where I'm at guys. I'm, I'm starting to dig it. I'm going to play with it a little bit. I literally sat here after I stopped the video and I was like, okay, what can I sell this for? Can I go on Vero's Facebook page and try to use this to get a Vero again? Um, like I did with my Satori 2.0 to get the mini impulse. Um, but I don't even really like Vero's, to be honest, because there's no slot on this side. So as a lefty, I can't do that. I'm getting better at that. Um, so I just got one because I didn't want the Satori 2.0 anymore. I wanted to try a mini impulse because I really like the impulse I tried. Um, and I figure I could resell it or use it to get something else. So why not? And, you know, you guys would probably love to check it out. So, um, but I was sitting here thinking like, what could I use this to get? But, you know, I'm going to give this a fair shake. Uh, at least that's where I stand right now. You know me guys, I changed my mind a lot, but, um, yeah, I wish the detent was a little bit stronger. You can see how I really can fail it. But I suck at doing stuff on camera. And when it's down at my side or I'm just kind of chilling, like I'm much I'm much more able to um, fidget with this thing. So I do like the form factor because it's so tiny. Um, and it goes in pocket very well. This clip works really well. Like there are a lot of good things about this knife. So um, I apologize for being so negative. It's what I do, guys. Um, I hype things up in my head so hard and so high. And then, you know, they get here and if they're not absolutely perfection, it starts to fall apart in my head. And then I start to fall apart on camera. And, um, you know, you see what I see. It's my initial reaction. It's coming out of the box. Like these aren't fake unboxings. You know what I mean? So I'm really starting to dig this. Um, and I'm glad that I uh, just gave it a second to breathe and think about it. And I didn't just rush to be like, ah, this sucks ass. I'm getting rid of it now. Um, so uh, here we are. And uh, I just wanted to apologize, one, for going straight negative so fast. I have a tendency to do that. Um, and yeah, so really cool knife, guys. I'm excited about it. And uh, I will follow up. And uh, I love you guys. I hope you have a great night. And I'll catch you later again for the second time.